Company is Black Theory Edition LLC. Today, we're going to make a free silver mix. So, again, I've been making screen paint for a very long time. I've been making silver screen paint, black screen paint, gray screen paint, gunmetal, dark gray, you name it, I've done it. Now, we did give two YouTubers, well, actually one YouTuber, the opportunity to try to make our products. And he failed, miserably, to make the product twice. I think he called on another YouTuber by a fellow by the name of Silent Week 5 to also help him with this uh, project. And he also failed. Now, we actually came in and we upgraded the product for them because again, as I said before, that the product uh, was lacking. It was just too easy for us. It was none of the challenges in the day. So I decided to actually make something that would be worthy of our time because again, the um, the versions that they have were just too easy. But the one he made, that newer, was too easy. So we added in ours some of the poly. Uh, some over here, we got some uh, some silver mica right there. You can see right there, we didn't add that in there. And we got a really high grade silver paint. Very high grade, right here. Also too, we got some black dynasty over there. So. If you were looking at that demonstration, did you know there's a free grade product in there? But again, they didn't want to show you that, probably because it was match. So I need this anyway because again, the gray wall we have in here isn't giving me much of a challenge. So I decided to, uh, oh shoot, I forgot about that. I have to get the um, Cinemax again. And the reason why is because I want to put it against the gray walls we have in here. I'm going to see if it matches. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a free mix that definitely will be much better than this product. And if you want to, you can make it himself. So basically, we've got some black in here. We want to turn this gray. Not hard to do. No, we've got plenty enough in here to get the job done. We need to put a lot of silver in there at the end of the day. We're going to put a lot of silver in there. That is going to be... Uh, that is definitely still going to be um, still going to be black. So we have to upset the balance. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to add some of this silver into it. Very high grade silver. Let me show you how beautiful this stuff is. I could mix it in with this. It makes no difference. You try to make it sound like it's all technical again. Yeah, you know, just pour it in. That's all. I want you to see the color of this silver, how beautiful it is. Very high grade silver. Now, if I was doing this with how I would do this, because we got black, and that's what we're using because they use black in the demonstration. But if I was doing this another way, what I would do is basically, I would just go in and get some bare silver screen, or you can get some network gray 773, or you can just go pick up some, um, some, uh, some um, micro, the micro uh, slip silver and do a half and half, which is really easy. Half of this is going to be the base paint and the half is going to be silver, and then you measure how much black you want to put in. We already got black paint here, we don't have any silver here. Now this is what color you would get. These are the different shades you're going to get. See the color we have here? See how beautiful, sorry, how beautiful that color is right here? 
That's if you want a darker contrast. We're putting this against our screen, by the way. That's why I'm making it. The gray walls, it's the same thing. I need a different challenge. Look at the color we got. Sorry about the camera bump right there. See that color we got now? See how beautiful that looks? I've made so many different versions of gray paint. Not even funny. That's going to be beautiful right there. Still got enough left over right here. A little bit more silver in there. A little bit. Because I do want to do one of these boards and actually pure silver. This right here, you don't need this. It's junk. That's not, you don't need that. That's junk. That's going to make it seem like you're adding more than what you need. That's not going to do anything. It's poly. Poly's not going to change the color. It's not going to change the contrast. It's not going to do anything at all. It's unnecessary. They put that there to try to make it seem like there's more to it than what it really is. But it isn't really anything to it. That's it. Now, if I'm doing this by 32 ounces, easy way how I'm going to do it. If you put a couple of teaspoons of silver in there, you're not going to see it ever. Majority of that has to be silver in order for you to see it. So this is how I would do it. Get 32 ounces, you're going to make it 16 by 16. You get 16 of, doesn't make a difference if you want to do bare silver screen, if you want to do slip silver, if you want to do network grade 773, doesn't make a difference. I have 32 ounces. Half of that is going to be one of those paints. The other half can be PPJ, it can be basically this right here, this product right here. Doesn't make a difference. That's the other half. Because you have enough silver now that you're going to be to see it. As for the mica, I would put probably about, uh, about one tablespoon in. That's it. You put too much of this stuff in the Christmas tree effect all across your screen, so you don't want this. So one tablespoon is enough. You don't need to not a tablespoon, by the way. And as for the black, the black is the adjuster. I would keep it in the range of three to one. That's it. Anything other than that, you'd be pushing it. Jamie, this would crush your product easily. It won't crush mine. I can dominate this with no problem. But you, on the other hand, this is a nightmare for you. Now, if you want this particular color right here, that right there is basically, you would have to put somewhere between five tablespoons of black paint if you're doing it that way. Or, easier way, you could do a reversal. Start off with the base being black, do a half and half with silver. It's very simple. That right there is a nightmare for your Frankenstein and all your other great paints. The dark gray paint under, what's his name, Danny? Yeah, that's a nightmare for you right there. That would end your product. Told you, it's very easy to make your stuff. Right on I have to dry them a little, a little bit for wet because I had to wash it out. Find something interesting, Jamie? This is about the same color you made on the second try. That fast, I can make your product so easily on any level. This is also the same color as your Frankenstein and UV mix. And I didn't even have to measure. Did you notice that? Anything. 
I can make all your products. Very easy. I'm not worried about the countertop. It hangs off very nicely. Don't worry about wrecking that. And this one I'm going to get the wall. That's what we don't want to get. This one, I want this one to be straight silver because I need a lighter screen. See the color of my rollers? That's what you had when you did your demonstration. This is not black, this is gray. So you know the difference. That's black. That's gray. See? I don't know how you get that mixed up. Every time. Like, how in the world do you do that? How do you get that mixed up? Every time. This is a great version right here. This is going to be cross contamination because it's a little darker. You know what's sad? And after we upgraded their product, made it better than what it was, and still beat it, you jerkers will still be on camera crying about their original product. You don't get what we just did, do you, gentlemen? We wanted and improved your product. We made it better than what it was, and we still crushed it at the end of the day. So that means the product that you have right now that you're claiming to be mine is under ours. That's what we just did to you. We outdated your own product and made it better and still it failed. That's how embarrassing that is. If I'm going to have somebody make my product, I'm going to make a better version of it and I'm going to beat it. That way we extinguish all hope in one hit and also downgrade their product at the same time. You have to know how to, if you're going to be in this business, you got to know how to basically be able to uh, come out on top. Guys were brimming with confidence that you had it and you had nothing the entire time. I even made a video previously before the demonstration to tell you it wasn't going to work and then upgraded it and embarrassed you. All right, now we're going to make a silver version of this. Silver is just silver. That's all it is. Now, if you want to put a little white paint, if you want to thicken it up, put a little white paint to this, you can. You want to put a little gray, it's up to you. But I just need the silver because I need something to go against my screen besides the gray walls we have in there because I don't get a challenge. We get a lot in these eights, don't you? Now, for those who are wondering why I never touched the poly, because the poly is pointless. It don't, it's not going to do anything for you. That's just stupid. That's a waste of your time right there by putting poly in it. Poly is not going to do anything at all. It's not even needed. It's not going to change and give you better contrast. Don't give you color. Don't give you nothing. They just put it in there because it's just stupid. Trying to make it seem as more than what it is. We added the glitter or the mica to it because the mica and the silver combined is going to add the paint the pop better. 
that's what the mic is used for. We used black because that's what we had, but if we did, if I was doing this, I would have started off with basically just using a gray paint at the front of the door and then upgrading it from there. Because that would have been your base. This is much better of a challenge basically than the gray wall. Gray wall is too easy for me. I have to make stuff for my products to go against. These are big countertops. I have no idea what these countertops are. These are pretty good countertops. All right, that's basically about it. I'll put down a nice ingredients down there for you. You can make it by 32 ounces. You're not the second guess what the freak you're doing. It all comes down to black paint. That's what it comes down to. Your adjuster is the black. So if I put black paint in it, it goes darker. If I put no black paint in it, it becomes lighter. If you want it mid-gray, you basically put in basically in between. So basically, if you're making this stuff, the toner is going to be, if you're going to make it darker, the tone is going to be between one and five. There's your tone right there. If you want it darker for if you're making a uh, UV mix or any kind of product that you're making, any dark gray, whatever, then you start to base off and black if you're going to make it darker. Because if you make it white, you're going to have to dump a heck of a lot of black paint in there to get it to tone. It's better if you do it basically from black and then add white paint into it. If you wanted to make it really, really simple, then just go pick up Network Gray 773 or any one of those products. Just put in three scoops of black paint and a couple of scoops of silver. And that's it. You do it that way. There's so many ways you can make it, it's not even funny. Or I can do one better. I can get the entire ingredients of this paint and I can just load up and give it to you because we already did it already. And got the video to back it up. Keep in mind, this is a person at the end of the day who won't go near Network Grade 773, and that's a paint that you slide off a shelf by itself. So they know that no black paint's gonna match this because we've done it already. We took paints that you slide off a shelf. So they figure if we put a little ingredients in it, we can have this product. No, buddy, you don't have my product at all, period. And out of that product, I made these two to put against my screens for fun because I'm bored. And these are all great products at the end of the day. Now, for anyone who sits there and says, in the day, well, Crow's product is much better, then you know what you do? Go out and buy some Network Grade 773 and stick it against this product and see what happens. Oh, Taco, I did that to you, my bad. I gotta replace your stuff. You didn't do that, I did it. Tripped over this food dish. point don't care I've done what I had to do I'm going I'll fix it I'll fix it I go I going and how to do I basically made the products put them against my site made them better than what they were and still beat the product at the end of the day and we can't even get these jokers to come on camera and do any form of the slip silvers or any of the products we asked for because they keep making up excuses why they're not going to do it so that's the end of it for me I'm done I went in I basically back my product at 100% I made the products that they had on camera, plus basically upgraded these products, and they still didn't match. One of them failed twice in a row, the other one we upgraded the product, and it still failed. I don't want to hear any more about it. And as I said before, for that paint we're bringing out, oh, it's coming out. Danny, again, another fair warning. Open up that site on the 23rd, and I guarantee you're going to regret it. That's, why, that's my message to you. Open it up. I'm going to embarrass you so badly, you will never want to think of screen paint ever again. What I got planned for you two at the end of the day, what we're designing for you guys, especially for you two, yeah. Jamie, we're going to wipe out all your products in one hit. I'm even going to mix them all together, make one mix, and blow that out too, just for fun. If you ever think about even coming up with a product, I'm going to wipe it clean every single time. Yep. So never again, you won't be to do that. That one can of paint that we're going to develop is going to wipe our products for years to come. Because you know why? Your products suck. They don't do anything. They match house paint in the day. Literally, that man did not want to open his website. 
You know how much information that gives me at the end of the day? I was right 100% when I sat there and said that if we take his products and put it against house paint, his product will fail. And what happened? He postponed his launch date. Now I've got another message for you. Don't you dare open that site, because if you do, you're going to regret it. Badly. When I get done with you, no one will touch you. You're going to let one can of paint wipe your entire product line clean. That's embarrassing. Well, that's it. Remember when I sat there and said on camera, and I said, if he changes the name of Trey, if he spells it correctly, that makes me smarter than him? Yeah, he's going to leave it that way for the longest time. Unless he goes and changes it. I'm going to check right now. See if he went and changed it. If you went in there and you changed the date of the product, it means you could have went in there and changed the name of the T-R-A-Y instead of T-R-E-Y. And in fact, you didn't change it over. And if it's still like that right now, that means at the end of the day, I can control you. I can just say anything in my mouth and just say, hey, if you change it, I'm smarter than you. If you change that, I'm smarter than you. And you have to obey to it. No, too easy. Now, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna work on my site because again, I just wanted to just work on my website. That's all I wanna do is work on my website and mind my own business. But you guys wanna do dumb stuff at the end of the day. Now I gotta come on here and embarrass you. So, that's it. No more ideas of trying to make my paint at the end of the day because at the end of the day, I really don't care due to the fact that I already did this to you. And I'm gonna put you on the wall of shame with full credit. Made a jokey dog. And what are you going to say to people? Oh, we can make his products. No, we, we've been there already. We've done that. You failed. Well, his products are scam. No, actually, no, it's not true because we gave you the ability to be able to make it and you couldn't make it, so it has to be real because you couldn't make it yourself like you claimed you could. So that's out the window. What else you got? Nothing. Got nothing else. We took it all from you. As we should have. I should have did that idea a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't think of that one. Actually, we did. We did get an opportunity to make our product several times. He refused to. But there is one thing I'm going to ask you five times in a row. I'm going to give you the ability to make my paint again five more times. We know you're not going to make it. I'm just going to request it because I know you can't make it. I'll give you the request tomorrow. Right now, I had a busy day today. And for anyone out there who figures you can make my product, well, no. I'm sorry. If you want to get embarrassed like these guys, well, I have no problem with trashing you real fast. But I'll fire you are just my own business. This is garbage at the end of the day. This stuff doesn't do anything. I don't know why they would put that into a paint to begin with. That's just messy. That's definitely messy. Why would you put that in there? This doesn't do anything. That's one of our just mess left over. Put that over there. Now tomorrow, tomorrow I'll get up and play with my new toys here. I need something to do. I mean, I'm really bored. That gray wall is nice and all, but not what I want. It's not. It's too easy. Too easy. Not a challenge at the end of the day. No challenge at all. challenge out of that.
Oh, to my green screens. I'll put the ingredients. I'll get the ingredients for, like I guess this is pretty easy, but I just started off with black. It's pretty easy. But what I'll do is the demonstration, we show you how we make uh, Jamie's products. Um, I'll put the ingredients below so you can make it yourself. Jamie, feel free to make the product anytime you want to to pre your own product. Now, like I said, there's two ways you can go about this. You can do it with the, hold on for a minute. You can do it with the Network Gray 773. You can do it that way. That's an easier way to do it. Much easier way to do it. As you saw in his demonstrations, it matches perfectly, so you didn't know proof in that. And then here it is. So we do know that matches. Put my hoodie up. Put my hoodie over here. Put this room straight down because this room became a mess. I've never had to do this dumb nonsense today. Yes. This is the last time I'm going to entertain this nonsense. As I said before, how we're going to do things is going to be a little bit differently. So, gentlemen, this is how we're going to do stuff, right? We're not going to have the, um, what's the word for it? Going back and forth nonsense, because I'm tired of it. All right, it's tiresome. Bunch of nonsense for me to come in here, go through all of this, just to blow you clean out of the water and trash you. It's basically boring, okay? And I'm tired of it. Boring. So, what I'm gonna do is from now on, you guys can run your mouse all you want because that's pretty much all you have left. You have nothing more left to do. You can't say that you can make our products because we've already seen that already. It's out the door. You can't say our products are a scam because, again, uh, you get not even to beat them. We had to upgrade it for you to get a challenge out of it because what you made was too boring. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, anytime that you guys want to sit there and run your mouth about this and the other, we're going to make that special product. And that special product, when we're done with it, we're not going to tell you what it is, what the name of it, nothing. As I said before, don't worry about what you can see, worry about what you can't see. I'm going to let your minds get the best of you because again, you're easy to control. I'm going to literally just say one thing, and you will listen to what I say. When I tell you, don't change it, you won't change it. So, let your mind get the better of you. That product that we're making, we're going to ter terminate it or exterminate it, 58, we're going to call it. You'll know the name, that's it. Keep in mind, it's strictly designed for engineering for wiping your product so That's what we're designed for. So you can make second guess, whatever, but we've seen you make second guess so it doesn't do too well. It does extremely poor. Even when we help you, it still does extremely poor. So, on the 23rd, if Danny opens his website, we will buy his products. We will also buy yours regardless anyway, it doesn't make a difference. And on Live, I will take that one container of product and I will wipe all y'all stuff completely clean. And then just for one final finale, I would take all your paints and mix them together to make one big Frankenstein, whatever crap you want to call it, and I'll level that too. And then I'm going to take your products and throw them in the trash. That's what I'm going to do, and that'll be the end of that. Now, after watching your products get trashed by one can of paint, then I'm going to make you a little promise here. If you two ever decide to make any form of screen paints, ever, I will have your product on my table, I will reverse engineer it, I will blow your own product out with your own product and give away the ingredients for free. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm glad we came to this understanding. Now, so you know, I will make no announcement when I'm gonna pick up your paint or when I'm gonna get it. You will never see it coming. I will act like, like I'm working on my videos or we will never bring it up, ever. But there'll always be somebody watching your channel to get your products. That's my promise to you. Now, to them, why are you going through that nightmare of paranoia? Jamie, you need to get ready for court because I made the phone call already and it'll be coming up this summer so you know so that's going to be pretty bad including criminal charges I forgot about this too well gentlemen 
Hmm. Well, first, I'm going to go over. I'm going to check this thing on Danny real quick. I'm going to see if he uh, spelled the name Trey correctly. I hope he did. I hope he got a backbone or something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if you uh, spelled the name correctly. Or if I still have control. It's going to be nice not to talk about you guys ever again. But to watch my product crush show is going to be funny. And now again, you know this in the day. I'm not going to talk about basically crush. None of that. None of that's going to ever come up. It's just going to watch a video one day saying, hey, we got the product. And that's it. We'll go from there. Just crush your stuff real quick. Throw it in the trash and move on. Let's see. Oh, okay. Now he changed it again. Now, now I told you, again, we can control these people. I can say certain things, and he would do the same thing. Now he's going to launch it even earlier. Thank you. So let me see. We have it now. Scam Kenny. Well, that's funny. We're here to be probably You can't open your website. So now you're saying that the product is not PSP. I told you it sounds like a game system at the end of the day. Look, it's not PSP. Okay. Will, okay, now he changed it over to that the whatever ambient line of products, not PSP, will be offered again. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense at all. What do you mean by not PSP? It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? Oh, it's not, it's not the PlayStation? PSP? Well, put it the way. You put PSP next to it, it sounds like the PlayStation system. I'm sorry, but that's what it sounds like. Not PSP will be offered... <laughs> He literally has to put that in there now because people think it's the PSP. Dude, it sounds like it is. All right, so it's not the PSP. We'll be offering it again on the 23rd. But you're saying that the Partake PSP launch is this weekend. So which one is it? You got two different things going on here. So now he's vacating this site to design another site. He doesn't know what he's doing. He just changed it again. Look at this. He's saying that now he's changing for another PSP site on construction. That never came in there. And now he comes back in and says that, well, which one is available? You have it right here, Stan, that it's going to be on the 23rd right there, right? And I love how he puts down not PSP. Dude, it sounds like the portable PS system. That's what it sounds like. But I know you're gonna put down, it's not. It still sounds like the fact that you literally had to put that in there is because people had it confused. They think it's a PSP. It is what it is. You're still gonna come up and eat that. That's a serious keyword right there. So you're saying offer again, again. There is no again. You never offered it to begin with. You never had it. But now you're saying that it launches this weekend. So which one is it? Is it this weekend or is it on the 23rd? You know, this person has a, you know, he reminds me, he reminds me of Jacob Tutu. He has a, very, a habit of putting two things in at the same time. So which one is it? Is it the 23rd or is it this weekend? Either way, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still going to have your product down here for testing. It doesn't make a difference if you launch it tomorrow, next week, a day from now. It doesn't make a difference. We're still going to have it down here for testing. Makes no difference to me. Whether it's going to be against house paint or the new product we're designed to wipe it out doesn't make a difference. We're still going to test it. You don't have any test demonstrations of the product. Oh, but you can hear he's listening to what I'm saying, right? Because again, why did he put that in there? A couple minutes wasn't in there. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's still Trey. Look, I told you. Still controlled. Sorry. There, I'm going to get right there. Where are you getting right there? Get over there. Sorry about that, people. Yeah, I just saw it a few minutes ago. I just saw Trey right in there. Let me see about the marker where I'm at. There we go. Find the marker right there. Trey. Paint Trey. It's not Paint Trey. It's Paint Trey. It's spelled P R A Y, not P R E Y. But if you change that, I'm smarter than you. I'm going to say it again. You should have been changed yet. If you had enough time to go on the website and change everything around and saying, oh, it's coming out this week, but it's coming out on the 23rd. You, what day is it coming out? Is it on the weekend or is it on the 23rd? Which one is it? Because you got two dates there. 
So if you came in and changed all that and then put down that I'm a scammer at the end of the day, then how come you didn't go in and change that over to Trey? T-R-A-Y. Because you can't. Let's see if you changed out your ingredients. It's the same thing with the crazy instructions. Yep, same crazy instructions. And Daddy, your product is already dead in the water. Like I said, I'm going to match it to house paint. When I match it to house paint, when we do the demonstrations, we can paint the house paint faster than we can paint your screen. They're both going to do the same thing. Only difference is house paint's a faster application and it costs less. And you have no test. So which one is it? You got two different things going on in here right now. What's your date? Because you're all over the place in here, man. Look, right here he says it's launching, launching this week, weekend, right? But down here, he says that it's offer again on the 23rd of July. So which one is it? So let me get this straight. Either way, either way, Danny boy, your product's getting tested against house paint. And if you match any of these products, it's not going to go well for you. And then when we bring out the technology designed to wipe your stuff, I'm going to wipe your product and I'll wipe his product. And I guarantee you that website will shut again, as it always does. Your website has a habit of opening and shutting and opening and shutting. I sat there one time on camera and said, man, can you at least keep your website open for four days? And you couldn't even do that. But we'll see whatever this is at the end of the day. We'll wait till this weekend and we'll buy. My people are waiting to buy. Oh, the other paints disappeared. So now he just has dark gray, charcoal, and black. Are you afraid that your products don't match the gray paints and that's why you remove them? Because they're not there anymore, they're gone. So what happened to the gray products? Well, it doesn't make a difference. None of these products work on ultra short throw. So you can't work with ultra short throw on any of these products whatsoever. So that doesn't work. And still, each one of these products take forever to paint in. And that's a product. And we can put you against black paint. Because again, none of that stuff will match our screen at the end of the day. So chances are, your, definitely, your paint's definitely going to have a problem. I'll test you against black paint. As a matter of fact, even better, I'll test you against the Ooh, that'd be a good one. His product versus the Noor. Hmm. I might be a identical match right there. All right, people, we got to go. As I said before, is you can see he's all over the map. And he's saying it's not a PSP. Yeah, we know it's not a PSP. The only problem is it sounds like the PSP. If I literally type in PSP in your paint, it comes up under a gaming system. Do we have your paint down here as the PSP Premium? Have you gone online and looked at this at all, period? Do I need to say any more? And look what comes up first. No freaking tests under your products. We search for them one by one, no tests. Now keep in mind, you said at the end of the day that the product you have here, black versus black, was able to beat our product, right? Well, we'll do the test when it gets down here. If you can keep your website open and you don't cancel at the end of the day. But yeah, your product comes up under PSP. It literally comes up under the game system right there. Oh yeah, that's when we basically, <laughs> the screen paint didn't match. All right, well, I gotta get back to work. Um, as I can see at the end of the day, again, your product sounds like the PSP game system and that's what it's mistaken for. I know you got it down and it's not, but it is, it sounds like it. I don't know why you would name it the PSP. There's one here called the PSP Vents right here. Literally, so many people are using it. They got it under the PS2. That's another one they mark it underneath of. So when I buy this, am I getting a free PSP with it? Or am I not getting one with it? All right, we're done with this joke nonsense today. I got to get back to work. I got to get serious. I got things to do with them today. I got time for this nonsense. Uh, yeah, Danny, again, 
when you open it, if you open it up on the weekend or whatever you're going to do, we're buying it. Do you understand me? And we're going to bring it down here and put it against house paint. Because again, I've seen you remove all the grays off your site and fear that you're going to match the house paint. But keep in mind, they make black house paint too. You know that, right? All right. I'm told you, scared. That guy just removed every gray screen paint off his freaking site. Man, too easy. Gotta go. God bless.